Once again, welcome back to Ad Infinitum, this time for part three as we begin chapter two, Corruption. And it looks like we're back at home, only I think the dagger's gone, the dagger's missing. Okay, things have changed. Where did it go? Have we got more of the mirror now? There are still shards missing. You feel like you can almost make out a shadowy reflection of yourself. Or my feet. Hmm, okay. So, is that the main goal of the game? To sort of rebuild my reflection and to see myself for who I really am? Was this here before? Dear Paul. Oh. I hear you're now in the Cadet Academy around the corner. How is life there? Are they teaching you to stand proud and tall? Soon you'll be able to look down on everyone else, just like our dear father. But there are things he couldn't see from way up there. Words cannot describe the horrors we see here every day. Please write. Your brother. Yeah. It was a completely different war depending how close to the front you were, really. Still can't get these open, but maybe in time. I don't know. Oh. There it is. This was mine. Now it's yours. Stand straight, Paul. <coughs> your father is a cripple. He took your grandmother's life when he was born. And now he is a cripple still because he doesn't stand straight and tall. The boy can't even ride a horse. <laughs> Your brother is not of sound mind. He has your wretched mother's blood. My legacy lies in your hands now. You hear me? The Cadet Academy will make an upright man of you. In spite of your parents. Is that right? Their never-ending suffering. Their pain. Their cowardice is in your blood. You must purge it. You are the only one worthy of the name von Schmidt and of my dagger. It's your duty. Do you hear? I... And that was that. To be honest, I was wondering if he was ever going to shut up, so there you go. <laughs> but that explains why the dagger's under my pillow, I suppose. Right, okay, so, here we are. Let's see, what else has changed? What's my objective right now? Let's have a look. Follow the sounds. Follow the sounds, okay. Hmm. I don't hear any sounds. Well, now I do. <laughs> I'm hearing some music. Hmm. Alright. Okay, this wasn't open before. This was locked up. Ah, the entrance hall. Okay. Well, that's open as well. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get you! <laughs> no, you're not! <laughs> no! No, please! No. Ah! 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow, okay, that memory got dark by the end. Right. There is a phone up here, isn't there? Right, who's calling this time? Hello, Emil. Okay. Brower, 
Ooh. Tech Albert. Okay. I got Rudolph. I think I picked up the dog tags, Fast didn't I? Bender, yeah. From France. Right, I, I, I don't need a reminder. I don't need a reminder. I've got the tags, after all, right? <sighs> okay. Let's see. Any sounds this way? Yeah, I don't think I could come through here before. Let's see. Can't open any of these? Nope. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Through here? Alright. Oh, wow. Wow, this place gets bigger and bigger! Look at this! Oh, and look at him! Who are you? Father? Grandfather? Whoever you are, you're wearing a gas mask. Right. Okay. I suppose I need to go down and have a look, don't I? What we got here? Combat agents, right. Dear Director General Von Schmidt, As you know, we never succeeded in developing a methodology to treat your infantile paralysis. However, we are pleased to announce that this research has now led us to a breakthrough in another field. The infectious disease poliomyelitis acuta anterior is now becoming increasingly common in all corners of the world, thus prompting us to recommend this and similar pathogens as combat agents for use in the war effort. At your behest, I shall contact the War Department to ask for research funds. As you know, we're in urgent need of such assistance. So we had polio. Ah, okay. Is there something else down here? Oh, okay. Look at that sword! Right. To my son, once he learns to ride. General Lothar von Schmidt. And there's a note too. You never did earn it, son. Oof. Right. Let's put that back down. Okay. Let's see, there's a door here. Ah, it's locked. Okay, alright. Hmm. Looks like there is a way down over there, so maybe let's head to those stairs. You just wait right there, okay? <laughs> I'd like a chat. Okay, let's squeeze on through. Okay, is that another door as well? Oh, wow, okay. What on earth? Where does this go? <laughs> okay, one thing at a time. Oh, come on! Ah, okay, alright. Let's go down. He's not there anymore, but it looks like a note is. Jeez Louise. This is mental. Right, yeah, let's see. For too long I have allowed my cowardice to paralyze me. But I know now what I must do. I must keep a steady hand. Remain focused on my target, just as I did when I killed the gazelle. Right. That's all we get, is it? Okay. Goodness gracious me. Is the gazelle over here? Oh. Ah, okay, right. Ah, you're missing a horn. I don't know what to do here. I do. We need to find that horn, don't we? Hmm. All right. We are gods. The fire. The fire. The fire. Weltenbrand. The death of the gods. Our, our death. It's a bit dramatic, isn't it? All right, what else we got? Oh, the urn of General Lothar von Schmidt. 1841 to 1908. Okay. Right. So, looking for a horn. Just for a second, I thought that was it. But no, it's uh, it's a pipe. Hmm. Okay. Something over here? Oh, a couple of things, actually. July 15th, 1917. My son has been promoted. Made an officer. My father would be proud of him, but am I? Since Magdalena begged me, I used my connections at Supreme Army Command to ensure that Johannes can look after him. Mm. Such nonsense. The coward of the family of all people. Have I become infected by her female hysteria? <laughs> Regardless, we shall all be better off once victory is ours. And I shall do my part. 
don't know how to break this to you. Bit of a spoiler, but it didn't go well for you. No. There's a drawing over here. Okay, a child's writing exercise. My grandpa is Lothar von Schmidt. He's a great general. My father's Karl von Schmidt. He has a factory. He writes lots. When I grow up, I want to be like my grandpa. Paul at age seven. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. How have we got here? Sigma, Omega, Psi, Phi, what? All right, can we, oh. Oh goodness me, what are we doing here? You don't think this book will be of any help, right? But maybe one of the books will? Goodness gracious me, okay. What else have we got around here? Ah, there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at you hiding in the darkness. Your grandfather killed this crocodile himself. On this particular expedition, maybe? Hmm. Alright. There's a door here. It's so dark, it's actually quite hard to uh, pick out some of the details. And this door will not open, come on! There we go. Right. Oh, I've been here before, haven't I? Right, so around there's the... Oh. And here's the greenhouse, the garden, which is actually now open. Well, when in Rome, let's take a look. Right. The detail in this game is really quite extraordinary. It does look amazing, and often sounds amazing too. And this doesn't, though. There used to be a statue on this fountain. Where's it gone? Maybe we need to find it? Like the horn? Put it back? Hmm. It's like a rainforest in here, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Something over there, maybe? Looks like it's all blocked off. Looks like a... Almost like a dressing room, weirdly. Ah. Alright. There's no way around? No? Okay. Nice. Okay. There's a little cut through. What's this? Ah, okay. The more the merrier, I suppose. We... Ooh, there's a way through there and there's... What's that, a well? Mother was always there for you when you were playing too close to the edge of the well. Now you've looked out for her too. Hmm. I suppose. Okay. What have we got hidden back here, then? <laughs> There is that very real risk of me getting lost again. Okay. Let's light that up and let's read this. Success! Dear Director General Von Schmidt, The research and production of weapons has finally provided the long-awaited upturn of our company's fortunes. We've increased the number of chemists in our employ and set up additional production facilities. I imagine your father would be very proud of your current commercial success, especially as it comes in the service of victory for the fatherland. Okay. God, what the hell have we got here? <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. What's this? Sulfuric acid. We're going to take that. Not really sure why, but we're going to take that. Okay. Do we use it here? Do we play with the chemistry set? No? What's this? Salt. Okay. Like before, I'm picking up salt, but I, I don't really know why. Oh, boy. Oh, God. What are we doing? What does that say? What's all this? The note on the blackboard say that mixing together Wilhelmswasser and hydrochloric acid in a 3 to 1 ratio will create something called Tank Eater. Tank Eater. To create hydrochloric acid, mix and heat cooking salt and sulfuric acid until it boils. Right, so that's what we're doing here. So that's the salt, and then... Okay, we light that up. Okay! Alright, yeah, let's see, let's see. Um... This way? Uh-huh. There we go. That's the sweet spot right there. Okay. I've created hydrochloric acid. Fantastic. I guess we're making this tank eater stuff then. Right. What for, though? Hmm. I mean, there are still a few doors that are locked, I suppose. I'll get me through those. You hold redemption in your hands. The key to everything. Omega. Between red and blue. Right. Omega. There was an Omega uh, back in, let's say, the hunting room. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, okay. I suppose I'll be going back there. Okay, so that's where the hydrochloric acid goes. Ah, right. Oh, and there's the statue. 
It looks like the statue's face has been eaten away. Maybe testing this tank eater stuff. Huh. Alright. Is that all we're going to find around here? I think it might be, to be honest. Right, I think, uh, at least temporarily, it's time for us to leave the garden. I think it's time for us to go back over here and see if we can maybe have a look at Omega. Yeah. Can we go straight through? Fantastic. Yes, we can. All right. I feel like I got a little bit ahead of myself, honestly. What else have we got here? You should have seen us. Yeah? We were one with our horses. Oh, yeah? A force to be reckoned with. Hmm. We stood at the gates of Paris. <coughs> <laughs> the gates of Paris. <sighs> we could have had it all. Everything. But you didn't, did you? However, you do have the gazelle horn. However, the gazelle horn is in here. It seems to be locked away, though, so we're going to need to find our way in. Right, what's this? A figurine. A strange figurine. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay. Oh, trophies, I see. Dear General Von Schmidt, We've taken the liberty of sending you a few trophies to aid in your recovery from tropical fever and your reacclimatization to the Berlin winter. The elephant tusks speak for themselves. In addition to these, we've enclosed a fetish from West Africa. This was given to us by your personal porter, with whom we know you have always enjoyed a good joke. His tribe believes the fetish will bring you strength and good health. A primitive superstition, to be sure, but a sign nonetheless that the entire African continent is praying for your swift recovery and return. Hmm. Yeah, don't know about that, but sure. Okay. A successful hunt. 300 Hottentots captured. Well, okay. I, the great general of the German forces, hereby address this message to the Herero people. The Hereros are henceforth no longer German subjects. Any Herero found within the German border, armed or unarmed, with or without livestock, shall henceforth be shot. I shall no longer take in any women or children. Instead, they shall be driven back to their people, or likewise fired upon. These are my words to the Herero people. Lothar von Schmidt, great general of the mighty German Kaiser. Windhoek, October 1st, 1904. Great general and great big prick as well, yeah. Okay, peace in German Southwest Africa. General von Schmidt's second victory in the German colonies. Following his defeat of the Boxer Rebellion in China, General von Schmidt turned his attention to the Hottentots. As a result, peace and order has now been restored to Africa. Despite critics back home in Prussia labeling the initiative unnecessary, there is nevertheless a sense of relief and... That's all he cared about, apparently. Okay. Wow, look at you. When you were a child, your brother told you this was the Bear of Berlin, the city's mascot, and you believed him. I can see that, actually. Yeah, if you ever go to Berlin, you'll see a lot of these. Right. Okay. Uh, Omega. Omega. <laughs> Over here. Let's see. Uh, oh, come on. I'm having a real struggle with these doors and stuff today. Come on. Very, very heavy cupboards. This one? Ah. Oh, it's the display case key. Yeah, okay. August 10th, 1917. I have it. The formula that will help us to victory. Right. An acid that can dissolve the enemy's tank weapons. I call it the Tank Eater. Good name. Iron and steel are no match for my acid. It is a weapon even more potent than our new mask breaker agent. The formula is locked in the safe, preserved from prying eyes by the memory of my father. Right. Locked in the safe. Okay. That's it. Okay, so we get those two. Uh, the display case. Is it this one over here? That would be good. 
Ah, it is. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the gazelle's horn, right? Yes. We're going to put that on its mount. August 26th, 1916. I had a peculiar dream. It was my 32nd birthday again, and I was visiting father in Africa. Just as I did back then, I shot the gazelle. I remember the approval in father's gaze, the nod of recognition. It was my first and only journey of such distance. In my dream, however, I was suddenly a child again. My leg no longer stiff and sickly. Mm. In this vision, I was finally able to ride with father. We rode all over the world, from Africa to China and on to America. He was proud of me. Over and over, he spoke to me of how man and horse must merge into one when they ride into battle. Yet in reality, I never rode with father. I was never able to learn. I know how much of a disappointment I was to him ever since the day I was born. If only I could have gone to the front myself, but this cursed leg won't allow it. It never would. Hmm. Polio's a bugger, right? Quite sad to hear that, really. Right. Okay. The gazelle horn. Let's see. Hopefully it's going to be the perfect fit. There you go. All right. Ah, that's the safe. What's this then? Ashes to ashes. Rest in peace, great general. Right. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Ashes to ashes. I did see an urn, didn't I? Rest in peace. 1908? Nothing on the base of it or anything. 1908, I imagine, might be the combination. Let's see. So... I don't know. Let's turn it all the way around. Okay. Hey, there we go. That was simple. All right, let's get this safe open, shall we? All right, okay, it looks like there's another note in there. Maybe something else? To produce the iron dissolving tank eater, combine three parts of the enclosed chemical compound, which I have named Wilhelmswasser, with one part hydrochloric acid. A three to one ratio is essential. The combination will only produce tank eater acid if the proportions are exactly correct and the hydrochloric acid used is pure. This will change everything. Okay. And this? Oh, this is the chemical container for Wilhelmswasser. Right, okay. Well, we're halfway through a chemistry experiment, so we should probably try and finish that off, shouldn't we? Right, there you go. So yeah, back to the garden. Back to the lab. <laughs> and, uh... Let's see if I can get this right. So, a ratio of three to one. Right. Let's see then. So, that's going to go up here. Okay. Right. So, use the levers to fill the middle glass container. Once you think you have the correct ratio, pull the middle lever to mix the chemicals. Right. Okay. Um. So... Right. Let's call that one. And that can be two. And that's three. Maybe a little overdone? I don't know. So this... It's three to one, so... About there. It's not... It's not precise. It's not exact. Hopefully it's close enough. Uh, there you go. I've made the chemical. It's tank eater acid. Right. It smells strange. You can almost taste it on your tongue. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, I've made the chemical, but why? What am I doing with it? Do I want to completely erode this? Let's have a look at the objective. Oh. Oh. Okay. I... I had no idea. Uh... 
the basement door. Yes, that chain. That pesky chain. Uh, so, whereabouts is that from here? I guess this way? Alright. Yeah, background here. Is there a door? Okay, there should be a door to the left here. Here we are. There it is. Okay, and there's that pesky chain. But not anymore. Right, okay. So is that where he ran off to? Is he down here in the basement? Hmm. Alright. As with the rest of the house, it's uh, rather spacious. Okay. Ah, I need to find a key to get in there by the looks of it. Alright, well, hopefully it's quite easy to see. Oh. What's that? Where's that coming from? Oh. From in there? Is there someone in there? Hmm, I need to find this key. Right, okay, there's a door back here. Locked. Ah. Okay. Um. I, I suppose it's possible that the key could be upstairs somewhere, but I'm holding out hope that I'm going to find it down here. Got a couple more doors to try. Let's see. This one? Ah, locked again. Not finding much. Oh, this one's ajar. Here we are. That's where the music's coming from. Hi there. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Looks like we're going to keep the music on. The gas fogs my mind. One of the windows was open and I thought I saw someone. I can no longer afford to be distracted by figments of my imagination. It is almost done. Death is not the end. It is a gateway. A way out. The first of the pigeons have already passed through. Is that right? Very ominous music in the background. <laughs> Alright. Here are the pigeons by the looks of it. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> right. Ooh. Oh god. Oh, don't gas me. Please, don't get. <coughs> oh, man. Run away! Run away! Oh, God. That's some strong stuff. Not the family reunion I was hoping for. <sighs> okay. Well, that was meant to happen, right? I guess so. Unfortunately, though, it seems like we're heading back to no man's land. Whoa, what? Whoa! What the hell's that? That's giant! Okay. Another monster to contend with? It's gone now. Bloody hell. Right. <sighs> Imagine getting gassed and then waking up in no man's land. What the hell is this? Right. Okay. Looks like there's quite a few gas clouds, so wish me luck. Oh, great. And we're still getting shelled. Uh, uh this way? Oh, right. Yep, yeah, okay. Gotta see if I can avoid that or, or, I don't know, run through it. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? Right, okay. Just, just run straight through. You'll be okay. <coughs> Yeah, you'll be okay, right? Oh, bloody hell. Yep, I'm okay. I, I I, can take a little bit of gas, but not too much. Jeez. Right. Uh, I, think, I think we're going to be running straight across, honestly. I'm not sure. Oh, it seems like such a dumb move. It's okay. It's okay. I made it through. I made it through. Jeez Louise. Right. Another mangled corpse. Which means another dog tag, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Rudolph. Right. I, I, I've got to stay away from the gas. 
Gotta keep away. Really, I should I should find myself a gas mask. Okay. Oh wait, you're still alive? Oh, oh you were. I suppose I'll be taking this, Francois. Hey, can I take your mask as well? That would really help. Although, I don't know, maybe it didn't work for him. Maybe the masks aren't going to save us. Jeez Louise. Another body? Alright, there you go. That's what I'm after. Also. Jeez. Right. Up and around here? There seems to be less gas this way. Well, marginally. Uh, are we going straight across here? Okay. Jeez, I don't know. Over here. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah, into a trench. That might help. Good stuff. Um, that way? This way? Let's go this way. Let's have a little look. Ah, there's another dugout. Last time I was here, there was no reason to hide. Maybe there will be this time. Not sure. Or, I don't know, maybe maybe I evaded the, the hunger. Or, uh, you know, other little creatures and monsters. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's a song. There you go. I don't really have a singing voice right now. Hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> there we are. Alright. Another dugout? Hmm... Wow. Alright, what about this? Ah, okay. Can't get in there. Too heavily barricaded. Can't even use my tool. Okay, at this point, this feels like the way that I need to go. So I actually want to head back on myself and maybe bash through those boards. Because now I'm curious. <coughs> oh, careful, careful. Yeah. So... What's through here? Maybe that was the dead end and this is the way I need to go. What the fuck? It's you. Ooh, the dummy fixes you with a piercing gaze. That was drawn on by my mother. But yes, weird that you're here. Is there anything else here? Oh, okay, another tag. All right, well, there you go, I'll take that. More blood. See Yvonne. I'm counting down the days until we see each other again. Things aren't too bad here. Don't believe the stories you hear. There are a lot of fuss about nothing. It'll all be over soon. I play our song every day. Be brave, my darling, and I shall be too. For our little curly-haired treasure. Give her a kiss from me. Love your Oscar. Oh boy. And that's Oscar's dog tag. Damn. Okay. Well, there you go. So, I was heading the right way after all. So, yeah, back this way. Uh, let's avoid the barbed wire. Don't want to snag my face on it. There we are. So, we can't go to the right. What about the left? Somewhere else to hide. Are we bashing through this? It looks like we are. All right. Another one? Hmm. Oh, something else too. I hear the sound. Stomping and screaming. Every night it gets worse. It's not just the enemy. It comes from below, deep inside the earth. A little bit worrying. Right. This way? Oh, wow. Look at this giant pile of bodies. All right. Oh, with the mask? Are we actually doing something smart? Are we are we getting the mask? Right. Well, that should help us get through some of these gas-filled areas. Yeah. Okay, it's got an extra strong filter that's been designed to withstand even the mask breaker agent used in German ordnance. Okay. Well, let's hope it lives up to it. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Are you still alive? Holy crap, man. Jeez. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh, I've gone and made him sad. Oh, God. Holy oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh, 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 jeez, bloody hell, right. Oh my god, run, 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 oh, can I hide? Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay here. Holy shit. Ooh. Is it safe to come out? I don't know, to be honest. Right. Okay. Uh, has my objective changed there? Follow the beast's tracks. Yeah, because that's what I want to do. Oh, jeez. Right. So, uh... Got the gas mask, I suppose. Ah, there it is. Okay, so G to equip. Jeez Louise. That was crazy. That design was mental. So we're going through here. Do we need the, do we need the mask now? I don't think so. It reminds me of uh, what I read a moment ago, actually, about sort of like man and beast becoming one, right? I mean, that's essentially what happened. Whew. Okay. So, this way. I suppose I should just follow these fiery footprints. Something down here. They're coming. I had a dream last night. I know now what the gigantic flaming creatures are. They're the fallen soldiers of old and their war horses. We've disturbed their peace. They're coming. Soon, we must ride with them. <sighs> I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd really rather not. I mean, did you see the size of that thing? How big does the saddle need to be? You squeezing through? Right. Oh, we're squeezing through to more trenches. Okay. I can't get enough of the place. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. I don't know if following this thing's the wisest move, but hey, we're here. We might as well give it a go. Alright. Squeezing through to the other side. Back in the trenches. Okay. What we got here? So the identity of our new company Führer was no coincidence. Him, of all people. Our newly minted Leutnant. Father confessed as much when I was back in Berlin. He pulled some strings with Supreme Army Command. I bet he did. I bet he did. Right. Well, uh... This looks pretty chaotic. What the... Oh, just for a second. I, I, I thought that might be the doll again, but no, it's, uh, it's one of the hunger creatures, isn't it? Right. I feel like I've been here before. I think I... I think I actually came through this area, didn't I? Yeah, I'm not the only one, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was what was being shelled as I ran past at the very beginning of the game. So we went this way, that's right. Yeah. And that's where we went before. <coughs> oh, okay. If it's not barbed wire, I think it's gas. Hold on, right. <coughs> Stop your coughing. There you go, alright. Wow. Disgusting. What gruesome monstrosities will the enemy throw at you next? <laughs> you think it's the enemy? Right. Are we going this way? I don't know. Seems like there's more gas and look at this, it's actually fogging up quite a bit, isn't it? The front's that way. Hmm. I don't know if the creature went this way, honestly. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not seeing the fiery footprints. Alright. What have we got here then? Command bunker 61, that way. Alright. More of this barbed wire preventing me access. Okay. Anything else? Nothing? Really? Nothing? Can't believe it. Okay. Are you dead? I think you're dead. <laughs> Gas, probably. I, whoa! Well, Alright! It wasn't dead! What? Whoa, whoa! Calm down! Is that you, soldier? Yes? Where the devil have you been? 
Is this the guy that I saved? Well, the pilot? Cat got your tongue. Sounds like him. Whoa! Careful! Stay where you are, you, you damn traitor! Is this because they didn't bring the morphine oh, back? Treacherous bastard. I should have known I couldn't trust you. Right. What's wrong? Was that not what you wanted to hear? Hmm. Right, let's let's maybe not go and approach him that way. Let's go this way. Maybe there's a way around. I wish I could trust you. Truly I do. But my mission comes first. Right. I can't risk it for anything. That's okay, that's alright. Stick to your principles. Secure the explosive depot. And then bring me proof I can trust you. Proof right. that you're not in league with the enemy. Okay. How do I do that? Wow. Okay. Uh, we're not going to be blowing our way into the bunker, are we? Let's see. Ooh. Can I? Ah, the cannon isn't loaded. And uh, I think these are probably empty, aren't they? Yeah, the empty shells are of no use to me. Hmm. Maybe I can find some that aren't so empty. Munitions depot? Oh, this has got to be it, surely. Something down here? Right. Our shell and ammunition supplies have dried up. We're as good as defenseless. Have they forgotten us out here? After taking stock of what's left in the trenches and shelters, I've put all our remaining explosives and ammunition in the new ammunition depot. Now, all I need to do is make sure no one starts playing with fire around here. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm taking that with me. Hmm. Maybe I can find another way in. Maybe I can. No smoking. <laughs> Volatile. Yes, definitely. Ah, so, yeah. I mean, I probably should be able to climb over, but not in this game. Probably a way around somewhere. Mm. Okay. Can we keep on going? It looks like we can keep on going. It's quite a big area. I gotta say, I still haven't seen too many of these flaming footprints. I are we still following the beast's tracks? More empties, right? Yeah. Alright. What have we got in here? This area is really quite vast, isn't it? Hmm. Looks like if I go down, there might not be a way back up. Which is probably indicating that I need to go down there, but not yet, not yet. Let's see, what have we got here? Alright. Well, there's some fire. Maybe caused by the beast, or counter-shelling, or who knows. Alright. Ah, looks like we can't step over this. This is a bit of a dead end, really. So, what about around here? Blocked. Okay, yeah, I think there is only one way to go, really. And it's this way. We're gonna have to fall down. Right. Oh, okay. You okay? I think we're okay. You got something down here? As ordered, the great loitment of the mighty German Kaiser has started using the new poison gas compounds against the French. Mm. He truly believes that killing off some of the poor bastards in their own trenches will help us win the war. He was so pleased with himself. How can he not see that the whole world is against us? Would he rather wipe them all out than admit defeat? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Hmm. That can't be good. <laughs> right, nevertheless, we're going in. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah, I don't think the creature's down here. Maybe this is going to be our way into the bunker. Maybe the munitions depot, who knows. Ah! Okay, give that a spin. Yeah? Oh, that did actually seem to shut off the gas. Brilliant. Ah, there was a split pipe, I see. That tape didn't hold. Anything here? Nothing? Oh! Ah, we're going up. Okay. To the munitions depot? To the bunker? Let's see. Alright. Ah. 
Oh, am I not allowed? <laughs> right. Come on. All the way up. And hold it. There you go. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> ah. Okay. Another phone call? I haven't really been having the best of luck with them. Soldier. It's me. I managed to get communications up and running again. Well done. You're really going to do it, eh? I guess. Perhaps I misjudged you. You're not alone in there. I saw a terrible creature running past the bunker. Right. It could be close to you right now. Oh, don't tell me that. The creature seems to hate gas. He's not the only one. Shut off the gas lines and try to lure the creature into the ammunition depot. Right. Right. Okay. That'll be bringing the fire in, I suppose. That's it, is it? Mm, okay. Well, it looks like we'll be squeezing through here. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Oh. Munitions depot? Well, it's right here? Was it through there? Hmm. Right. Danger of explosions. Smoking. Yeah, okay. And there's the gas. And a dugout, too. Right. Yeah, okay. I, I think I'm going to have to lure the creature down here to smash through that. Kind of like it did so I could enter the tunnel. Right, I'm going to want that mask. Okay. So we need to clear the gas so it's going to come down this way. I don't know if we can tape this back up. Where's this going? Under here? Ah, the door is locked from the other side. And I don't think we'll be climbing over. Or going under. Right. Oh, I can't see a thing. What's that? Palace Street? Okay, yep, yeah, if you say so. Are we out of the gas? I think we're out of the gas, right. There's another dugout. Right. A uh, bit of a crossroads here. Oh, shit! Oh, boy! Oh, oh wow. Did it see me? I don't think it's... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's galloping on by. Which is, I suppose, what I want it to do, but it's not going to get past the gas, is it? Oh, is it? Is it coming back? Oh, it's coming back. Jeez. What a cool design. I love the monster design in this game. Right. I think I think I'm going out. Okay. Uh, wow. Yep. Boards uh boards don't really get in its way. If it's going that way, I might go around to the right. Yeah. Let's just go for it. Okay. Somewhere else to hide. Uh Okay. Under here? Oh uh, yeah, that's that's not going to be a very good blockade against that thing, is it? It's going to go straight through if it wants to. Right. What was that? Oh, I can squeeze through here. Okay, alright. Somewhere else to hide? Ah. A gas mask. Ah, but this one's useless. The filter's clogged up with some sort of chemical. It smells awful. Hmm. Right. It's about the gas. Strictly confidential order for the duty officer. In order to expedite our success, the use of Green Cross shells, pulmonary agent, against enemy troops is to be increased again in the coming weeks. The Green Cross shells are to be used together with the new, improved Blue Cross shells. The Blue Cross component acts as a mask breaker. It can penetrate simple mask filters and make it difficult for the enemy to breathe, thus forcing them to remove their masks. The pulmonary agent will do the rest. Insidious, isn't it? Right. I'm coming back through. It's still over there, I think. Okay. Right. Plenty of places to hide if it does actually want to check this area out. Okay, that's a blockage. Right. I suppose we are actually heading in the right direction, aren't we? If we wanted to get on the other side of the door. Maybe there's going to be a way through. Maybe it connects back. Okay. I can squeeze through. Oh, actually, this might be it. This... This is it, I think. Right. Ah, so here we can uh, use our new valve-turning technology to get that off. There you go. 
Brilliant. Okay. Oh, I can see it. Um. Yeah. Do I want it to chase me? I suppose I want it to chase me. This is dumb. This is so dumb. I can hear it, but I don't know if it's going away from me or, or what. Right. Just out of interest. What's up here? Oh dear. I can't tell where that is. Is that ahead of me or behind me? Oh, it's ahead of me. Jesus Christ. Okay, right. It's, um... It's in a bit of a gallop. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Right, 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 right. Ooh. It's fast when it wants to be. Is it going to keep going? I'll take that as a no. Ah, shit. Right. I need to lure it even further. Right. Yoo-hoo! Ah! Oh, God. What am I doing? Right, come on, through here, through here. Oh, oh boy. Back away, back away right now. Wasn't there? A, there's a dugout right here. Hide, come on. Wow. Oh, that was so close. Bit oh, straight in uh, and straight onto the explosives by the looks of it. Okay, we're alive. It's remarkable, but we're alive. Right. <laughs> Looks like there's no way back. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm taking in all these warnings, but I'm still gonna go this way. Holy crap. So is that another enemy down? Like the Mother of Sorrows, have we defeated it? Okay, I, <laughs> I'm seeing one of its many legs. Right. Is that its hand, its arm up there? Oh, man. Holy moly. Oh, and its head. Ah. Oh, is this what we want? Your trophy fills you with pride, as if you had taken the creature's power and made it your own. Look at it. Holy crap. Really cool design. I really like that one. Right. So, I've got the trophy. Is that the proof that I need? Yeah, maybe that's the proof that I need. Can we go this way? Okay. Up here, yep. Yeah. Oh, and this is where the fence was. Yeah, <laughs> it's gone now. Uh, yeah. So let's let's head back to the bunker and well, hopefully we don't get shot, right? This has been a really nice surprise. This game wasn't really sure what to make of it to begin with, honestly. But uh, the more I play, the more I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Right. Stop where you are! Oh, I yep. felt the shockwaves all the way back here. I bet you did. What happened? Did you clear the gun positions? Prove it to me! Uh, no, not exactly, but... You're not going to shoot me? Okay. Alright. Oh yeah? Is that good enough? That, oh. Yeah. I guess that's good enough. Thank you. Where did you go? What? <laughs> Were you there to begin with? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things. I mean, a lot of this is inside my head, right? Hmm. Okay. No sign of him around here. Right, let's go down. Down into the bunker and see what we're going to find. Okay. Large intersection, right. East and west. I had to be sure. Ah. I hope you can understand that. No worries. <laughs> Not a bad shot for a blind man, eh? No. Oh, wow. Is that glass? Ah, oh, my eyes. Yeah. They still hurt. But I can see much clearer now. Much much clearer. 
If you say so. I know you killed the abomination that did this to me, too. I did. I should never have doubted you, soldier. Uh, even though you never brought me my medicine. I knew he was bitter but, about that. Uh, I can take care of myself. I can see that, yeah. The enemy is spreading through the country like a plague. They have penetrated our ranks and even the fatherland itself. Right. I need to hold our position here. The... Uh, uh, the rest is up to you now. Brilliant. Follow the railway tunnel in the east. Okay. It will take you to a munitions factory. They've cut off the supply lines for our war materials. Something is interfering with production. <clears throat> there are rumors of a saboteur. <clears throat> An enemy in our own ranks. Right. Take this. It will be dark soon. <clears throat> if you can get oh. the machines up and running again, we'll have all the explosives we need to win the war. <clears throat> right. Okay. <clears throat> Can I take this too? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Just like you did before. Uh. I'm counting on you. Okay. You are our only hope of getting out of here alive. We've already been pinned down here for too long. <sighs> right, I'll, I'll leave you to do your uh, your tweezing. What's this then? Oh, a dynamo flashlight. Oh, it's very amnesia, the bunker. Okay. Yeah, uh, apparently overuse of the cord may result in flashlight failure, so I need to keep that in mind, I suppose. Okay. Oh, well, not only that, but a key to the east bunker door. Okay, the trench is east of the bunker. Let's do it. Okay. Right. What's this? Duties for the week. All right, yeah. Okay. Ah, hold on. This is the same place as before, isn't it? I think. Yes, it is. It's the same bunker. I just approached it a different way. Yeah, okay. So, east and west. Hmm. Doctors complain about the, the lost cart of medical supplies. Yeah, I read all this last time. But this is the way we need to go? Company Fury. Yeah, we passed by this. Ah. Oh, there's, there's something to have a look at this time. It was father who got him posted out here. But I barely recognize this loitment of ours. It has been years since he last spoke to me. And that includes the several weeks since his arrival here. First I was shunned for being the black sheep of the family. Then for having the nerve to go off to war before he could. And now he looks down on me. Me and everyone else. Hmm. Johannes, you can't do anything right. Well, not in your family's eyes, anyway. Right. This way. Bunks. Yeah, okay, so we went through there last time, but... Up here? Yeah, okay, here we are. Ooh. I've still got the gas mask, haven't I? So, right, might be able to go down here. Can we get these barrels out of the way? Yeah. I don't think so. There might be a way to explore down here, but I don't think it's via these stairs. Okay. This way? This is east. Yep, we're at the right door. Okay. So how does this flashlight work, exactly? F doesn't seem to be working. Maybe I need to bring it out of my inventory, or maybe the game's going to tell me about it. Oh, it's holding right click. That's pretty good. Okay. Can't hold it down forever, though, I suppose. The dark path. Yeah, you're not kidding. Are we going this way? Oh, hello. Paused. Right, thank you. Well, it's nice to finally get a flashlight, like two or three hours in. <laughs> Better late than never. Alright. Autumn is upon us again. Three years this war has been raging on. I paid a visit to the attic while I was back home on leave. But the memories of Christian were too painful. 
Even my pigeons were gone. Hmm. Mother said they flew off, but I think she was lying. Perhaps because father was with us. He probably let them starve to death in their cages. He has set up a laboratory in the basement. I saw it. Mother does not seem to know what he gets up to down there. They hardly say a word to each other anymore. Hmm. Well, if she did go down there and see what he was up to, I don't think she'd be best pleased, do you? Nice. Around here. Okay, again, I think we're going to squeeze through. Okay. That pickaxe has really paid for itself, hasn't it? What we got here? Storage! Lager, alright. Uh, what am I going to find in here, then? Surely there's going to be something. Right? If not something I can pick up, maybe a note I can read? standing out quite yet. No. No, another dead end. Around here, maybe? There's got to be something. But, oh, Jesus Christ. You again? <sighs> you keep on popping up. Right. Oh. Okay, it looks like there is a way through, of sorts. Brilliant. Okay. Back out to the trenches, okay. A writing room. A space for the soldiers to write letters home. Let's see. Any letters that I can read? Oh, there's one. Postcard from Casper, right. Ursula has broken off our engagement. Please do not be surprised if you don't hear from her anymore. When the war's over, it'll be time for new beginnings. Perhaps Ursula will then rekindle her hope and turn her thoughts to us once more. I'm keeping my chin up and think of you every day while I'm out here. Doing my duty for the fatherland. Mm. That's it? I think that's it. Okay, moving on. What we got next? Post? Alright, the post office, yeah. Oh, what's this? Okay, we've got some regulations here. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Forbidden. Unusual forms of writing, any type of code, illegible writing, details of your position, details or indications of your company's plans or tactics. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Wouldn't want to give that information out, would you? Alright. Something over here? Oh, something. Something that was censored, something that was rejected. I hear we're going to be heading south, together with our neighbouring companies. Perhaps the change of scenery will help. I can't get rid of these damned lice. I hope you've not been hit too hard by the famine. I miss you so much. Right. Yeah. You mentioned they were going south. That's uh, that's not good. Look at all this mail. Hmm. Wow. Uh, alright. What have I wandered into exactly? Are we, are we still heading in the right direction? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, anything down here? Tools, and no one around to use them. They're cowards. All of them. Yeah, if you say so. If only that Colossus could roll into battle for you. But you're not a mechanic. Hmm. If only I was. Right. Yeah, I don't think I'll be hopping into one of these, will I? <laughs> Jeez. Right. Let's see. Anything around here in the gas? Can I twist that? Turn it off? Or no, no. Anything down here? Oh, oh, there's a body. Oh, man. This feels like an accident, doesn't it? Carl. Yep. Alright. Okay. Do not walk on the tracks. Yeah. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mum. Right. Is that the way we're meant to be going? Follow the train tracks. Okay, yeah. It looks like we're following the train tracks. I'm gonna need the mask. Alright. <coughs> okay, we are coughing our way into another section called Corruption. This is where I'm gonna leave this video though, so thank you very much for watching part 3 of Ad Infinitum. See you next time in part 4. <coughs> And that 
was that? To be honest, I was wondering if he was ever going to shut up, so there you go. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at you hiding in the darkness. Sulfuric acid. We're going to take that. Not really sure why, but we're going to take that. Okay. Here are the pigeons, by the looks of it. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Not the family reunion I was hoping for. Whoa, what? Whoa! Looks like there's quite a few gas clouds, so wish me luck. Oh, great, and we're still getting shelled. This is the way I need to go. What the fuck? It's you. Let's hope it lives up to it. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I've gone and made him sad. Oh, God. Holy oh, fucking hell! I think you're dead. <laughs> Gas, probably. I, whoa! I saw a terrible creature running past the bunker. Right. It could be close to you right now. Oh, don't tell me that. Bit of a crossroads here. Oh, shit! Wasn't there a, there's a dugout right here. Hide. Come on. Wow. Oh, that was so close. 